Hey everybody, Blue here today. I'm going to show you how to make the pot hanger that I made at my campsite. What you need for the pot hanger is you're going to need three poles equal length and equal thickness. Um, five to six feet would probably be enough depending on how far you want to stretch, how far you can go low down. Uh, obviously you need paracord, you need a knife, a pair of scissors, and a lighter to uh, just melt the end of the paracord. So so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need about 15 to 20 foot with a paracord. This end's already melted. So what I do is I'll actually take and stretch it out the width of my arms, from stretch my arms out. And I'm 6'3", so roughly what I figure is that's about 6 feet from one fingertip to the other. So it's just a rough measurement. It doesn't have to be anything exact. So I do that three times. And then I'll come and I'll cut my paracord. Take the knife or your lighter and just melt the ends. Okay? You should, if you got, unless you got exactly 15 feet, 20 feet, you'll have some left over. <clears throat> and I'll show you uh, two different ways to make the pot hanger and the rope that hangs down. So what you want to do is we're going to make a loop. Okay, we're just going to tie an overhand knot in with the loop. So it comes through and you have this. The size of the loop doesn't really matter. You don't want it as big as your poles. So I've got these three poles because I'm using this at my house. So I'm going to just go ahead and use these three poles. What I do is then pull your loop through, or pull your extra cord through the loop, and run it there, and cinch it down, okay? So cinch it down tight. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is everything's going to be in threes. You got three pulls, we're going to wrap it three times. Okay, and then we're going to go take the first two and weave it through. Also three times. If you go down the poles a ways, it'll pull apart easier and you won't have to worry about doing the tuck. All right, and we're going to come back. We're going to go across this way three times. And then guess what? We're going to go down here. We're going to come and do this again three times. I'm actually using the bed of my truck as a table, so that's why you're hearing it mount on. Try to keep these as even as possible. There we go. Now what I would do is come back three times. Okay. Then, if you want, feed it through, tie it on, tie it off somehow. However, if you wanted to go extra on this this rope, you could actually go an extra six feet and use it as your rope that you hang your pot from. I'm just going to do a knot there.
and I'll just leave that extra hanging there. So that's what it should look like. That looks to be perfect. Remember, three, 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 three. All right, I'll show you how to do the uh, actual rope that we hang the pot from. Stay with me. All right, what we're going to do now is take a five to six foot piece of paracord. And we're going to make sure that the ends are melted so they don't fray on us, okay? And on one end, this is going to be the end that actually wraps around the top of your teepee. We're going to do the same thing that we did when we made the teepee. We're going to do it over a hand, loop knot. So pretty much hold your cordage where you want it. Do a knot, okay? So what this does, it gives you something to loop around your top of your teepee, okay? So what we want to do on this end, this is going to be where we put the toggle in, the piece of stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and make the same loop just as we did the other end, okay? But what we're going to do is we want this, the loop, to be as small as possible. Within reason, of course, you don't want it so small that it's... You know, you can't get anything through there. So, I figure if you can put your pinky through it, it's perfect. All right? So what you do is you take a stick that's roughly six inches long, okay? And you'll put your pot onto your cordage. And then you feed, feed this part through here. All right? So that's what it should look at. You got the, the cordage coming down, coming up, going back into the loop. So you stick the stick in there. All right, and the weight from the pole will pull it down. And it acts as a stopper. All right, and you want a tail on this when you tie that so you have a handle or a toggle or something to pull on, okay? So your pot's hanging there, and if you pull up on this, Raise the stick up, it'll raise your pot, pull down on it, pull down on the stick, it'll lower your pot. All right, we'll go ahead and set this up, show you how it looks. All right, so we'll take the tripod. We're gonna grab the middle leg, and just pull it out. Okay, we'll take. Just like that, okay? Right over your fire. There's that extra cordage we got. All right, now that we're done, we're gonna grab our piece of paracord that we had, and we have the big loop at one end, small loop at the other. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the big loop and actually just throw it over one of the poles, okay? So now it's, it's hanging. Then we're gonna come in, grab our pot, Hang it, keep your little loop up here with you. We're gonna fold this over, stick it in just like I showed you. You're gonna stick your stick in there. As soon as you do that, it'll cause friction and prevents the, pull, the cordage from pulling through. Now you've got a way to raise and lower your pot over your fire. So in order to do that, grab the tail, because remember we had to save that tail, pull it up, which relieves all the pressure of the stick and then pull up on the stick and you raise your pot. Same thing when you go down. It's a little bit difficult depending on your paracord. I just twist the stick and pull down and go slower. Get it right inside the fire, right on top of the fire. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another way if you don't want to do this because the pot is actually stuck on the cordage. You can't just take the pot off and walk away with it. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a different way if you don't like that method where it's actually kind of trapped on the paracord. So what we're going to do, we're going to come through, we're going to do the same thing we do with the toggle. We're going to feed it through, pretty much cinch that, cinch that down on there. So now what you've pretty much done was created a slip knot. So now it's on there tight. Let that hang. Your stick hangs there. Make sure your stick's wide enough at the top of your bale. And that's how you do that. You stick your stick in there. Now you can come in 
take it off, take it over to your table, wherever you're at, whatever you need to do, your seating spot. Okay. Now, like, okay, I have this, now how do I raise and lower it? Okay. So how you raise and lower this is you come to the top, all right, and you have the cord that has your pot on it. All you have to do is take it and wrap it around however many times you need it. I just raised the foot, wrapped it around like three times. Okay? My pot hanger, and this is the method I like to use. There are a lot of different types of pot hangers. So, this one is reusable, so it's semi permanent. If I go out to a spot that's not my normal spot, I can get three sticks that are the same width, same height, lash them together, make a pot hanger for the night, if that's what I need. Uh, then at the end of the night, day trip, at the end of the trip, take the paracord off, take the bank line off, whatever it is, fill up my pocket, take it with me. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching, hope you learned something. If you got any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And remember, enjoy the outside. Thanks for watching.